Hi, it's Kelly here, and I've got some great, great news about uh, Hurricane Adalia. And, and by the way, if I say hurricane and it sounds like I'm supposed to be saying tornado, I'm supposed to be saying tornado. I keep doing that, and I have to keep reshooting this video. Uh, so I'm, talking, I'm going to be talking about tornadoes uh, with great, you know, with certain exceptions, I might be saying hurricane this or hurricane that. But I'm talking about tornadoes. So if I make that mistake, just insert the word tornado wherever I mistakenly say hurricane. Well, in the news today, I was watching, well, two things. I was watching a video of a man who had, had the technology on the screen of where the tornadoes were happening. And he was including uh, South Carolina and Georgia as well. And I asked him, how many confirmed tornadoes have there been so far? This is 4 p.m. Uh, on the, what, the 30th of August. And he said two, two confirmed. And of course, that will be, would be increasing. It takes him a month, uh, not a month, but about five days for him to go through the, and a analyze all the technology and what's on the screen. And that number will go up. However, when I was in Panama City before Michael, we had another hurricane, I think it was a one or a two, and it was around 2004, 2005, but don't hold me to the dates. But there was a, a meteorologist on the television, on TV, and he was pointing out 17 tornadoes that were going on at that time. And this was in the space of a little over 15 minutes that he was showing us this. And um, all in Bay County, where Panama City is, Maybe, maybe the surrounding counties, but that's tiny compared to the length of Florida where the storm was going right next to it where it was supposedly promoting a lot of tornadoes. According to the meteorologists who were on Twitter, there are quite a few of them, and they were saying because of a combination of factors of the, the ultra warm water, record setting warm water, the humidity, and the uh, wind shear, all those things were supposed to be promoting tornadoes on land. Well, there have only been two. Compared to, like I say, Panama City, a 15 minute span, we had 15 in a tiny area. The other area is at least 10 times bigger, maybe 20 times bigger. And they have only had, we've only had two, and it includes Georgia and South Carolina as of 4 o'clock. Those numbers for tornadoes will, of course, go up. There may be 10 or 20 that they identify when all is said and done. And they may identify 10 or 20 people who have been killed. Uh, but that's a, a small, small number compared to the 149 a year ago. And it's because of you disrupting or allowing Mother Nature to disrupt the ion sandwiches of hurricanes. If you haven't heard me use that term before, they're ion sandwiches. They're a layer of negative ions, a layer of positive ions, a layer of negative, positive, negative, positive. And they have a tremendous amount of force in them. And they, and they cause a lot of agitation. They cause the swirl of the hurricane combined with the lightning. I don't know which comes first, the lightning or the, or the swirling water. Probably the lightning, anyway. So if you introduce by spinning copper, lots of friendly frequencies that Mother Nature, that God can use as he intended to use, it can, it can change the weather for the better. And, uh, and it, the evidence was on Twitter with lots of pictures. Of course, of the areas that have been damaged, you know, they, that, that's always gonna be the case. You know, the homes ripped apart, what have you. Um, we're going to see that. But I saw lots of pictures of homes that didn't lose a single shingle. I saw a home with, with beautiful awnings on it and not a scratch that I could see. Beautiful. Not, just, not twisted, not bent, nothing. Uh, one home had uh, a chair on the porch next to what looked like a tea table where you would have your, your iced tea or in the south they drink uh, at least they used to be, what were those mint juleps? <laughs> I've never, I don't think I've ever drunk a mint julep in my life. I don't even know what one looks like. 
Anyway, uh, so it wasn't distorted. The water, it was over there. The, I didn't see any bags floating in the water. I didn't see any twigs or branches or anything like that. Uh, trash cans, any of that. And uh, I'm sure there are places where that did happen, but not, you know, usually you wouldn't see any pictures that didn't have something funny about the water. Um, oh, and the bushes, the deciduous bushes are you know, the ones that grow new leaves each year. Um, all the leaves on the bushes, I saw two or three pictures of bushes like that. The deciduous trees, all the leaves were still on the tree. How does that happen? Well, I looked to see when it made landfall, when a dahlia made landfall uh, in a big area, the highest wind was 38 miles an hour. Most of it was lower than that. And the trees and the bushes were able to hold on to their leaves. And so, so the, it was just better, you know. It, see, the, the ions just, just seemed to push this, this, these, the sandwich up 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 higher or distorted or just washed it away you know at the lower levels and who cares what's going on at 10,000 feet maybe maybe if you're flying a plane it may, I, I'm sure that would make a difference but um, for us down here on you know on the earth it wasn't so bad uh, comparatively speaking so thank you so much for joining a handful of heroes in making this happen uh, that we now have a way to assist Mother Nature, you know, as God intended, to make uh, the weather normal. Um, now, when it comes to the water in a hurricane, um, we need the rain to cool down the Gulf and the, the Atlantic Ocean because we don't want the water to be too warm for the marine life, the fish and the manatees and the what have you. You know, I don't care if they bake, bake the alligators. Me and alligators don't, you know, no. <laughs> I've had dreams about alligators where I'm walking down the sidewalk and the rain comes in and the water's like six inches deep and I look ahead of me, maybe 20, 30 feet, and there's an alligator. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, and I've had dreams like that three or four times that I remember. So anyway, um, we, you did a great job. The storm is continuing on out. It was going to come back as a tropical storm and hit Jacksonville, which is you know a highly industrialized city. It's a it's a major port. It you know it has a lot going on there, and they don't need even tropical storms to mess things up, you know. So we're really glad that this storm is now going the opposite direction out, out towards Bermuda. So keep your fans, you know, change the direction so it's going out to sea uh, where Bermuda is be, for the people who live there and and the people who visit there, you know, vacations and what have you. Um, and so we're making this world, we're turning this world into Gardens of Eden and we're doing it very rapidly. And it's just such a blessing that you have made this happen uh, oh, by the way, my, my stuff is going to be turned off here. I don't know when. The coming tomorrow, take a new a new uh, contractor, take a look, see when they can, you know, see what needs to be done, and maybe they'll let me know when they're going to fix the ceiling. Um, and when that happens, I will have to turn off a lot of the the energizers because the dust. You know, the last time I had a, a ceiling worked on, uh, the dust affected my throat for quite a few days. So I will have to do that, turn off all the, all the energizers, because I will just kick up the dust as they remove, or what, I don't know what they got to do. I, I, that's not my department. <laughs> so anyway, just giving you that kind of uh, news update on, on what's happening here. So when my stuff gets turned off, and there's a couple hurricanes out there or storms coming, my stuff is going to be turned off. I got 40 of them, and I might have to turn off half of them. So. Uh, counting on you guys to continue with your efforts and sharing whatever I will be turning just getting rid of these these videos uh, you think that I'd want to keep them to be very popular but I don't want it to be too popular I want the people with loving hearts who are interested in 
helping Mother Nature, God, to to uh, give us the world. You know, he gave us a Garden of Eden. I don't think he wanted us to be, you know, holding ourselves against the wind. You know, he, he wanted us to, to live joyfully. And uh, so, but there, in, in the U.S. government, if you say you intend to change the weather, you have to get permission from, I believe it's the Secretary of Commerce. Uh, and if you don't get permission, that's a $5,000 fine. And, and I don't think he's given permission to anybody uh, unless, you know, you're really closely, you know, if you're like this with those folks, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, um, so we don't intend to change the weather. We just intend to create gardens of Eden. And I hope that's not against the law. It's certainly not against God's law. He did it once, he could do it again. And he just wants to know that we intend to assist him in doing all of that. So God bless you. Keep up the great work. It's just marvelous. And I wanna hear I wanna hear your stories and, and all that, regardless if it's about your your garden, your family, your neighbors. You know, tornadoes, hurricanes, you name it. You know, please leave comments, ask questions. Take care, and God bless.